No, days? I think uh, kind of camp, you know, we're, we're installing. Today we were, we're having our first two a day. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a, it was a pretty good morning. I, I don't think that anything was stood out. We had our first big blitz period. It was pretty sloppy offensively, a lot of speed defensively, which is normal, but good. It's a good thing. And uh, besides that, it was pretty good work. Does Katz just continue to look pretty sharp? I mean, those balls were there today. He uh, he can throw the balls now. You know, for Ryan now, it's it's going to be constant growth, decision making, quickness, and just keep going. You know that that part of it, and uh, and then kind of uh, you know understanding this is a big deal for quarterbacks, and it sounds funny, but you know the book, one of the quarterbacks' main jobs is to not not to make a bad play worse. You know, so if everything's breaking down, it looks bad, the receiver falls down, the protection's breaking down, don't do something stupid. You, Just take it for what it is and go to the next play. You got pretty upset at the execution on one play there for a minute. Was that during the blitz period when something was real stupid? Yeah, it was, you know, and it was, you, you know. You were saying it, something like you were going to throw it out of the playbook if they didn't do it better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was frustrating because, uh, you know, it's something that we, ha we have been in the past good at. And we're we're not we're not what there was, yet. The and play? guys are trying to. What was the play though? Is what I wondered. Oh, it was just a read by the split end. Okay. You know where he's got to make a read on the coverage and do it right, and then yeah. we're going to take care of business. And and we have, we've always you know as we've done this thing, we've 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 tried to take it downtown too many times instead of taking exactly what the defense has given us, and it's frustrating. We talked about Aaron Nichols making a run to start him. Okay. Thirty-four looks awfully good. I mean you. A lot of people assume McCants is the guy at number two there if he stays healthy, but I mean, Jenkins looks pretty good. Wide open, yeah. wide open, you know, and they both have, they both have some common uh, positives, po common abilities, and they're both a little different. I think that uh, we're very fortunate to have Ryan McCants and Jordan Jenkins right now because I think they've worked into a point to be really, really good backup players to a great back. Um, so I'm. Uh, we're just we're not going to say anything about who's who's that guy until much later we're going to let these guys play and frankly you know they might have different roles one of them might be the first down backup one of them might be the third down backup but uh, i know they're both going to be in the games does that put stevenson out of the mix just for right now just well he's got the shoulder right. and uh, there he he is i would be talking about him right in this group all three of those kids have worked tremendously hard to get to the point where they're competing for that backup spot. Mike, is there an MRI results on Joe? Was it out, does it come out okay? Or? You know what? Uh, it, there's it going to end up being a choice uh, by Javon and our trainer after they talk to the doctor. So, you know, it might be a choice of strengthening it, getting back and trying to get through the year, or taking care of business now, getting surgery, a lot of rehab time, has a red shirt year to play with. And, and going from there. Do you have a feeling on which way you'd prefer totally up to Bernie? No, and well, I know if I knew a lot, I know what I would suggest, which is if, if there's any information at all that leads them to believe that it could happen easily once again, yeah. I would just take care of the surgery, red shirt, and have three great years ahead of you. That's what I would say. You've had a week now and a couple of days in pads. Did any of the freshmen look like they're kind of figuring it out or getting into this, or how are you seeing that group? Well, the, the gray shirt freshmen, like Doctor and, and uh, Kevin Cummings, way ahead. The other freshmen, <clears throat> there's some great looking bodies. Uh, I do not know right now that, that I would say any of them will play. Uh, We've got a little more time, one more week probably, Bob, before we say, okay, this is the drop dead time. You're going to redshirt or play or whatever, so we won't make any decisions. I haven't seen anything right now that says this guy's got to play. Eyeball wise, Acuna sure looks the part yes. for a kid right out of high school. So does Crichton, you know, and, and uh, so does Ryan Murphy. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's physically, there's guys that look ready. Uh, other, other factors, depth readiness of uh, knowledge that all, all mix in together as long with making plays. Is Keith Pankey further along maybe than you would even hope to have coming off that injury? You know, he's just far along. You know, I don't know uh, any degree of, of how, how far along or how ready he is. I know he did a great, great job of rehabbing and getting back here with our team. 
Ryan Hanford has been a nice new addition to our team. You know, he's played a little bit more than the other guys as a junior college player. Um, you know, he's still got to get more accustomed to this level of football and the speed of football, but but uh, he's a hard worker, smart guy, and I anticipate him uh, doing a good job for us. He's all over, Aaron Nichols is all over the place. Special teams, split in, <laughs> slot back, flanker. He, you know, to, we're trying to keep him at one place because he's got a true opportunity to start for this team. He could, he could compete at split end and slot back and, and possibly start either spot. So uh, really, really proud of his growth. Uh, really always been uh, admired the guy for the work that he's put in and the fact that every time he goes into a game, he makes a play. Well, I, I think uh, he got back in it today. You know, and Michael hadn't practiced very much for a long time. Missed most of spring ball, missed the start of fall camp. Uh, he's a good player, and I anticipate him fitting right back in. But uh, we need to get a lot of good work with him uh, before our first game. Coach, yesterday you had uh, Lance Mitchell make a few big plays. Yesterday you got Cameron Collins making a few big plays. How confident does that put you in the secondary this year? Well, we've got four veteran safeties that are, you know, physically great looking guys, great size, good speed, good skills, and it's a great looking picture back there. You know, if you look at Cam and you look at, at Lance and you look at Soesi and then you look at Anthony Watkins, and then you add the young young guys that, that are in that mix, like Zeke and like Dax Dillbeck and Hope I'm not leaving anybody out, but it is a, it's a great group of guys, you know, and they're going to all be all over special teams and punt team, kickoff team in particular, uh, and and you know, the three of them have played a lot of football, so there's nothing like having the experience of being in the games, and that's where Lance and Cam and Soesi have all played a lot. Anthony Watkins has been hurt for a long time, but I'm telling you what, there's no reason he can't fit right into that picture. Thanks so much, Coach.